I had a radio show. I did that at least three semesters. It's a bit of an isolating experience because when you listen to the radio and you're in your car, you're one of millions of people listening to a radio station. But when you're in the studio, it's just you. And there's no one around, often for three or four floors. For, I don't know where the radio station is now. It used to be on the very top floor on the far side of Lee Hall. And there's just no one around. And so you hope that there's people listening to you out there, but you're very isolated in that uh, studio. And the first time I did it, I actually, I think I shared the show with Scott McKnight, who I later lived with at the Celebrity Lounge. And this is when we had CDs, of course. This is, I started school in August of 91. But I still had a substantial vinyl record collection, which I would bring essentially my whole collection with me, hauling it from Randolph all the way to the radio station in Lee Hall in two or three extraordinarily heavy crates. I'm not even quite sure how I managed to do it. And, uh, and then I think I, I also did one later. I think I did a radio show my sophomore year, a much better time slot, and I just did it all by myself. So uh, it was fun. I was trying to introduce the college community to what at the time was called underground music. And around that freshman, sophomore year is the first time that the word alternative surfaced. Uh, which I was never terribly comfortable with. I thought it was always sort of a corporate word for, well, if you won't buy this, how about this? 